Welcome to MarketTamer.com. I'm sure many of you are wondering where Robin Hood Trader is. He's in fact on vacation right now with his maid Mary in a much deserved vacation. Uh, so what we'll do today is take a look at a few charts. The first one we'll uh, pay particular attention to is that of the US dollar index. And the reason we want to pay close attention to this is that in the past the dollar has moved opposite to the direction of the market and it often provides a signal as to what we should be paying attention to. For example, let's take a look at the US dollar here declining all the way from really maybe around March uh, 8th, 9th, 10th, that's really where the drop sort of kicked in and then it came down very precipitously and found a little bit of a floor started to bounce back uh, then we see another dip here and generally we've had uh, a rising trend for the early part of April and uh, mid-April onwards we've seen another decline so let's, let's just parse this out in greater detail we'll note here mid-March all the way down then we see maybe third week of March we see a bounce back and we see correction and we see rise up dip down rise up dip down now if we move to the market itself what we should expect to see is the opposite behavior and in fact that's exactly what happened here we saw that the very precipitous decline in the dollar was uh, translated into a very very substantial move up in the markets from that what, 8th, 9th, 10th period, right around there, the 10th, that's where we see the big move up in uh, the S&P 500, that continued higher. And then recall we were talking about the US dollar rising up a little bit uh, at the end of March. What happened to the market? It came right back down and we see the pattern reverse with the US dollar and the S&P 500 in April. So the US dollar dipped a little bit, the market came up, and then we see the market come down, rise up, and as the US dollar has fallen, we've seen the market generally continue its rise higher. So why is this significant? Well, it tells us that this rally is uh, one to be quite concerned with. Why is that? Well, if we saw the market over the past decade or so, the move up in the market from the 2002 to 2007-ish period was all accompanied by a very substantial dollar decline. When we see the dollar decline and the markets go up, we have to be very concerned because it means that there's a very high risk that it is in fact the dollar fueling rising prices. That is, once there are more dollars out there and the dollar is weak, we obviously know that uh, the, the nominal price of the markets will rise in accordance with that. So if there were any questions regarding whether this is a, a rally to be trusted or not, uh, the US dollar certainly gives us a clue as to whether it is uh, for real or not. And at this point in time, uh, it is certainly prudent to remain very, very skeptical of this rally. That being said, money can be made, and it's all about trying to find where it can be made. Here's a stock that has certainly been interesting of late. It's followed the pattern of the market. It's Toll Brothers, and we can see its move also very precipitous from the March 9th low all the way up higher. It also pulled back slightly and has continued its run Many other stocks have followed that pattern. We can see Google, for example, next. It followed the pattern of a, a very uh, sharp V all the way down to March and then a, a pop back up. In fact, we don't see tremendous uh, concern here for, the, uh, for an imminent correction. But that being said, we've been in this bull run for quite a while. We might expect it to continue for another month or so. But uh, as we go further in this run, we should be more concerned. And so at this point, it's time to be very cautious, not too aggressive, and uh, we'll look out for more opportunities in the near future.